Hey everybody, it's Chris and I'm back with another video. So lately I've been receiving a lot of questions asking like what type of makeup have I been rocking and what I'm loving as of late. So I thought it would be fun to kind of go through that today in a makeup video and show you exactly what I've been doing and what I'm liking and why I'm liking it. <laughs> Although I love wearing makeup, I really do like to keep it really, really natural looking. So I'm going to show you exactly what I did to achieve just that. Let's rock. All right, y'all, I'm starting out with a freshly washed and moisturized face. And even though a previous pimple left its aftermath on my cheek, we're still going to achieve a natural looking skin like finish. And as for this other pimple here, we're just going to pray about it and keep it moving. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so first things first, I'm using Rimmel Stay Matte Primer all over my face. And what I love about this primer is the fact that it helps control my oil pretty well and it doesn't irritate my skin. It's so gentle, I can even use it on my eyelids. Up next, I'm grabbing my Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer from L'Oreal. And like I mentioned in my March faves, this stuff adds an amazing pearlescent light to my skin. I don't know how they did this, but it's like a radiant bottled pearl. <laughs> so I just add a little bit of this in the areas I want to highlight. After that, I'm grabbing the Perfect Pencil from Cover FX in the shade N Deep. This waterproof precision concealer is amazing for coverage. These two spots here don't stand a chance. <laughs> In addition to that, this pencil doesn't need sharpening. It's easy to apply and stays put all day long. It's also free of parabens, gluten, fragrance, mineral oil, talc, and it's vegan. And because of its small size, I can use it anywhere. Blemishes, waterline, brows, lip line, and more. I'm digging. Okay, so I am now able to use my BH Studio Pro Perfecting Concealer thanks to a tip from Simply CMC. Using a mattifying primer underneath this product really helps keep it in place and crease less. So I use the deepest peach in the medium dark palette for the hyperpigmentation around my mouth. I still avoid my laugh lines, but using it everywhere else in this area is cool. Thanks, girl. <laughs> for natural looking coverage today, I'm using the Studio Pro Matte Finish Press Powder from BH Cosmetics in the shade 240. These powders are my all-time favorite, and I have like four, okay? <laughs> the coverage and finish of this powder is no joke, and for me, it doesn't emphasize pores or lines, and it doesn't create any new ones either. <laughs> For a little highlight, I'm going to be using some cornstarch. Yes, cornstarch. <laughs> so like I mentioned previously in my March faves, a little bit of this works amazing for oil control and glow. To use it, I dust and blend a tiny bit in the areas I would like to highlight. So under my eyes, the center of my forehead, down my nose, and above my lip. And to avoid any white cast, I make sure to blend thoroughly. It's that simple. Now y'all know that Black Radiance has awesome pressed powders, right? I love using the shade Ebony to gently sculpt and contour my face. This shade does a great job at warming my skin tone and making it look all bronze and stuff. <laughs> so for a natural looking contour, I lightly add a little Ebony to the hollows of my cheeks, the sides of my forehead, and nose. Alright y'all, can we have a moment of silence for this mellow wine color icon blush from Wet n Wild? Words cannot explain how awesome a flush this blush creates. <laughs> Not only is this blush super affordable, but it's matte and would work great on so many skin tones. And once again, BH Cosmetics nailed it with this bronze shade from their Glamorous Blush Palette. I love using this shade like everywhere to add that sun-kissed glow to my skin. I even added to my decollete and shoulders for that extra oomph. Yes, it's that good. <laughs> To add some dimension to my lids and crease, I'm using the Black Radiance Powder once again. Then I'm grabbing Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Cold Kajal to use on my waterline. This is definitely one of the blackest eyeliners I own. It's gorgeous. After that, I'm using an amazing eyeliner called Star Looks Luxe Longwear Eyeliner that I received in one of my BoxyCharm boxes. What I enjoy the most about this eyeliner is that it allows me to create a really thin, precise line on my upper lash line. It also stays put all day long and it doesn't smudge at all. I even use it to fill in sparse areas on my brows. It's virtually undetectable. Now my brows are naturally pretty thick, so I only need to use a little. I like to keep things looking really natural. For my lashes, I'm using another BoxyCharm fave, the Blink Amplify Mascara. This particular mascara is definitely a natural looking finish and I love the formula because it's crazy easy to remove. Seriously, all you need is water. So for my lips, I'm gonna be using three things. First up, I'm using my Cover FX Perfect Pencil to outline my lips. 
This step allows my lips to appear fuller and more defined. And remember, Cover FX is known for their incredible staying power, so this isn't going anywhere. So for long wearing definition and concealing, you got it. <laughs> After outlining my lips, I'm using Jordana's Easy Liner for the eyes and the shade Coffee Bean to define the inside of my lips. Now, although this is technically an eyeliner, the color is perfect and the ingredients are pretty much the same, so why not? <laughs> Finally, to complete this natural look, I'm using Cargo's Essential Lip Gloss in the shade Umbria. I love this gloss because it's velvety smooth and lasts a really long time on my lips. It's the perfect finishing touch. And that is it, y'all. It's time to work. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this natural looking makeup look and give it a try for yourself. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you very soon in another one. Take care. Be sure to check out my channel homepage for lots more to watch. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Have a great day.